Hello ladies and jelly beans and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another silica video today. Um, so, yes, the patch has been out for a few days, um, and you're probably thinking, wait, like normally posts a video around about, uh, you know, the release and get you guys up to date with uh, all the changes in silica. Um, but I was purposely holding off to make sure that uh, like these hot fixes and stuff that are coming out for the patch as well uh, were already released. Um, hence why this video is out later than normal. If you enjoy the video, please like, subscribe and hit that bell notification button. We have got a few things to go over in Silica. Um, quite a few things are actually a massive change um, in terms of balancing, in terms of performance. Um, this is directly after the Queen was added to the game as well. So um, if you have not seen the addition of the Queen, uh, watch my previous Silica video. It will be there. So without further ado, let's get into the patch. So the patch directly after the Queen was... 0 0.8.50 it is literally just a cheeky little hotfix um just about re hit registration issues which was in build uh 49 so we won't go over that one but this one is the big boy 0 0.8.52 so um there's a massive amount of changes going on at the moment um the new build of Silica has just released the one primary primarily focusing on addressing the new memory link that oh my god memory link just English goes out the window at this time of day uh, memory leak um, that's led to game utilization a mass amount of RAM over time. So it was noticed quite a lot with dedicated servers that over time, especially with like bigger maps, um, there would be more and more RAM utilized, which in turn in the end slowed everything down so uh that memory link i did it again memory leak has been <laughs> rectified you're gonna hear a lot of link in this i think um so that being said uh in addition to this a plethora of balancing changes have been made lower in the health of many units and structures whilst at the same time increasing health for generation of smaller alien units the headquarters is also had of received formidable defenses in the form of heavy turrets that ward off early base rushes another welcome addition to, is the introduction of the improved friendly fire avoidance where the weapon will not shoot at an enemy if it risks inflicted a decent amount of damage on a friend um, this will certainly go through multiple iterations in the future uh, but that means the rocket launchers will no longer try and take out that crab on the harvester so please give the new changes a try and as always feedback is much appreciated thank you for your support and see you on the surface so um, quite a prominent issue, um, especially at the start of the early game. So you've got your early game harvesters, they you know, grabbing the Bolterium, getting all that juicy goodness for your human side, and then the headquarters decides to open fire on this single crab that's chilling on the harvester, dealing a massive amount of damage to the harvester, and in an event, killing the harvester, damaging the eco for the human side. So I'm glad that's now been rectified, so um, basically it'll be down to you players to get rid of that crab that's chilling on the harvester. Um, and hopefully uh, those harvesters won't get shredded by human defences. So, Silica, 0 0.8.52, technical. Fixed growing RAM usage over time. Vehicles and turrets no longer fire. Per weapon at enemy targets, they likely cause friendly fire above a tolerance. Culling of structures and units when off-screen has been added. Queen could be instructed to nest in a dead nest has been fixed. Balance. Added heavy turrets to the headquarters. Increased health regeneration for all small units over time. Um, rifleman cost changed from 60 to 30, which is quite a big change. Rifleman build time changed from 15 seconds to 10 seconds, which is a big change again. Uh, same for the scout, so 30 to 5, which is nuts. 5 Bolterium for a single scout. Um, scouts are actually, you know, if you put them in a mass, they become a formidable uh, enemy to deal with. Scout build time changed from 10 seconds to 5 seconds. Headquarters changed from 4,000 to 9,000. So the headquarters more expensive. Heavy turret is less expensive. Uh, from 2,000 to 1,500. Turret cost changed from 1,000 to 750. Crab health changed from 500 to 300. Allowing infantry to engage crabs a lot easier. The horn crab down from 700 to 500. Same again. Dragonfly down from 300 to 200. Firebug adjusted. From a 9,000 to 5,000. Hunter, 6,000 to 5,000. Shocker, 500 to 400. Shrimp from 300 to 150. The biocache reduced from 4,000 to 3,000. Um, colossal spawn insist from 120,000 down to 80,000. 
grand spawning assist from 60,000 to 40,000. Greater spawning assist from 30,000 to 20,000. Lesser spawning assist from 10,000 to 8,000. Hive spire health change from 5,000 to 3,000. So these are the defenses, uh, including the thorn spire as well, with the same amount of hit points. It's going to allow tanks to uh, engage these a lot better, including light vehicles. <clears throat> Nest health change from 60,000 to 50,000. Node health change from 500 to 300. Air factory change from, is that 300,000? It is 300,000 to 200,000. Barracks from 100,000 to 80,000. Headquarters from 200,000 down to 150,000. Heavy vehicle factory change from 300,000 down to 20, uh, sorry, 200,000. That's a little bit strange, to be honest with you. I find that the headquarters should overly, overly have more health than any of the factories, um, as it's a critical structure. But we'll see how that balance is uh, going to work. Because it is a, it's a critical loss structure, so... Um, you'd be more prioritized to defend the HQ than you would be to defend a heavy factory. Um, so, yeah, I, I kind of feel like if the heavy factory had less health than the headquarters, people would tend to open up on the heavy factory a bit more because you know you can kill a heavy heavy factory. I think this this will make make it so uh, players will actually avoid um, buildings with higher health pools and just go for the critical structures. But we'll see. Light factory down from. 100,000 to 80,000, radar station from 100,000 to 80,000, refinery from 300,000 down to 20, uh, sorry, 200,000, uh, AA rocket turret health down, oh, sorry, changed from 8,000 to 10,000, so it's actually gone up. A heavy turret has also gone up by uh, 2,000, so 12 to 14. Uh, normal turret from 8,000 to 10,000, bomber health changed from 24,000 to 15,000. I'm not sure I like that. For the bomber directly, because the bomber is already a massive uh, damage sponge, because it's such a big target. The other, the other um, aircraft, I kind of understand, because they're their main attack targets, right? So fast moving, you know, designed really to be like to uh, dodge enemy fire rather than soak it up. I feel like the bomber cannot dodge enemy fire, so it should have the armor, so it could soak up damage instead. Reduce its health pull means it probably won't be used. But uh, we'll see. Um, Dropship, 12,000, 8,000. Fighter, 7,000 to 3,500. Marginal changes there. Gunship from 5,000 to 2,500. So the gunship is now literally a, a weak, a really weak. Well, both of them, fighter and gunship, are both really weak now. Okay, bunker 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, and 0, 04 have all been adjusted. These are natural structures, by the way. So you'll find them around the maps on uh, on Silica. Um, so, 01 has been changed from 10,000 to 40,000, 2 from 5,000 to 20,000, 3 7,500 to 30,000, and 4 from 5,000 to 20,000. So, these buildings are going to be able to soak up some more damage. So, being able to capture them and use them as teleport beacons for the time being until teleportation change has been uh, implemented into the game. Um, it would probably be worth capturing these bunkers now. However,. Um, yeah, I'd like to see more people capture these bunkers. Um, they are good for just being able to teleport around the map um, very quickly. Or even to engage crabs. Maybe the uh, MGs on the bunkers uh, will be a bit more formidable now. As uh, most of the alien units have been uh, nerfed in in terms of health pool. Um, yeah, about the bomber though. Um, I'm yet to try it. So we'll be trying it tomorrow at Silica Sundays at 7pm UK Standard Time. Join in if you want to join the PB European server around that time. I know... They've been testing a uh, higher player count. I think 64 players. However, um, as I thought uh, as I thought the whole time, the server crashes at 39. Um, it seems to be like an issue somewhere. Uh, Dram will probably end up looking into it eventually. Um, so hopefully we'll be seeing 64 player servers. If we do, the game's about to get more interesting. More player count. It's going to be very interesting indeed. But we'll wait. Right. Let's have a look at these uh, small patch now for 0.8.53. Um, it's just a little cheeky little patch, just um, adding more optimizations to the game to improve frame rate. Um, this one's quite massive, actually, um, and it even says it in the uh, in the description here, which I'll read out to you in a second. A lovely afternoon, everyone. Further optimizations being pushed into main, focus on on larger alien structures that could drain performance. In some cases, late game with alien structures, this could be up to twenty frames per second. Thank you for everyone and a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Boltress. 
so 0 0.8.53 technical optimized alien spawning cis colliders no longer scale with animation which cause massive physics cpu usage optimized alien spawn cis grow spheres share materials in animation which cause high gpu usage change console command team now supports none which is going to be interesting for uh for being able to like spectate and 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 create units in 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 well yeah we'll, we'll, i'll try i'll end up trying it tomorrow most likely i'm going to try the uh nun team so that if you don't know what the nun team is basically there are a bunch of different teams so you've got soul centauri alien they're the three main factions you've got a fourth faction which is wildlife which is like the worms um which technically if you hosted a local game um instead of a dedicated server because no it, the option is not there quite yet for spawning units in with a dedicated server. But in a local server, you could actually technically create a fourth faction by spawning in, say, a headquarters or um, or uh, a nest uh, on the wildlife side. So you could technically make a fourth faction, which means you could do a four-way. So that's very interesting in that regard. Um, team none is kind of like neutral structures. So that's going to be quite interesting. I don't know how it would work and how how it's going to be implemented but we'll see I'll, I'll give it a go so that being said fixed memory link when reloading ai navigation mesh and fixed level load issue when client reported the server is completed loading earlier than it should have so more optimizations in regard to the server and when it's switching to a new map and such so that is it for today's uh patch notes now we will quickly jump into silica um there's not much i can show you really to be honest um because it's all just health pool stuff there's no i can show you the headquarters i'll show you the headquarters with the heavy turrets we'll have a look at it quickly um but everything else is all just down to health pools um another thing i could probably do is maybe run the benchmark and just compare it to last week's benchmark so if you stay with me guys we'll quickly do that now uh, we'll fire up silica and we'll have a look at this benchmark and uh let's have a look at the uh, the human hq as well By the way, guys, just to uh, Ritigate, my God, I can't speak English today. <laughs> just to get on it again, if you haven't already liked the video, please do. Um, it does help a lot. And also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and joining us on Silica Sundays. It's a good bit of fun. Um, you can either watch the stream or you can even join in and watch the stream. I don't mind. And uh, just have some fun with us on, on Prime Battalion. It is a good laugh. Um, we do get up to some mischief, mischief every now and then. I am an admin on the server, so I'm able to... Uh, for example, become the wildlife and become the great worm. You can hunt me down or I can hunt you down. Um, or you can just hunt me down on the opposition team if you choose to do so. So it's a good bit of fun. We we, we have we have great fun on the Silica Sundays. And from time to time as well, Dram will join me as well uh, there on uh, Sundays. He won't be here with me this week or next week, but he may be back with me uh, the week afterwards. So uh, just, just bear that in mind. Um, but we will see. So... We're going to enable the cheats here. We're not going to host a normal server. We're just going to host a sandbox mode. So a uh, map, uh, rift, basin, mp underscore sandbox. Already, just straight away, I've just noticed that loading screen for the map was a lot quicker than what we've seen in prior videos. Now we just got to wait for it to load. <laughs> Okay, so we're in. We are in uh, lovely Rift Basin. Now, the good thing about sandbox mode is there is no game type. So, no strategy. No deathmatch. Nothing. There's nothing on the map apart from basically what's been designed. So, for example, we've got the Balterium deposits. Uh, there'll be biotic somewhere for the aliens. Uh, we can activate cheats. We can then press backspace and bring up the spawn menu. Now, this is what I was talking about when, it, when we're saying about local spawning. If you look at the bottom of the screen, there we've got Alien, Centauri, Soul, and Wildlife. So that is your fourth faction, technically. Um, what we could do, for example, is spawn in um, a Scorpion. And if I press H, you can see the color of the Scorpion is the same color as Wildlife. So, for example, now if I spawn in another Scorpion on Alien, uh, they should go at each other. So technically, in theory, um, you'd still have to have a human a human team, um, but you could literally just just disable them. 
you could actually pit two uh, alien factions against each other um, by doing wildlife versus uh, alien, which I would might do tomorrow if if you guys are up for it. Um, I would have to get someone I know to take control of the humans and just not do anything. Um, yeah, and also you can't kill the humans, so you'd have to leave the human HQ alone. But you could literally put uh, alien versus alien, uh, which we've never seen before. So it, it could be very interesting in that regard. Um, obviously, we'd have to spawn in a queen on both sides. And unfortunately, I don't think it is a loose scenario for the wildlife. They lost their queen. So it would have to be just an end game scenario if we notice the queen has been destroyed on the wildlife side. Um, but yes, that is a wildlife scorpion. So, uh, enough of that. Um, let's jump quickly over to the headquarters for the human side of things. Uh, let's spawn it in. Um, we'll just spawn in on Centauri. Um, it's going to look a bit rough. Looks like it's going to blow open that scorpion. There's the heavy turrets right there on the back of it. Actually, there's more than just a heavy turret. Oh god, hold on. Let me respawn it in. I've just noticed uh, some of it's buried. Okay. Now that was interesting. What just took friendly fire? I'm not sure. There's quite a few. Actually, there is, there is quite a few heavy... Uh, Scorpion's dead. Uh, quite a few heavy turrets on this thing. So we've got one, two there. Uh, that one at the back here, I have not recognised before. So I think that's a new turret as well. So we've got uh, three turrets at the back. One on the side there. Two at the front. Uh, opposite side, again, another one. Um, any new additions to the top at all? No, nothing new to the top. Not that I can see. However, this seems to be a lot more armoured now and a lot, a lot nicer looking. Um, one thing I do want to see is the alien nest. Kind of needs some defences, I do believe. Um, it is very susceptible to being sniped. Um, just going to spawn in the nest. Um, as you can see, the queen is currently nested in it. So the queen technically is alive inside of this nest. Um, so yeah. But yeah, no defence on the nest just yet. Uh, what I'd like to see, though, in regards to that is, for example, um, not even like that many. But, like, if we just said this, for example. So, we had four hives on the sides of it. Like so. Like, four hives and maybe a, a, a thorn spire or two. Like, in, interconnected into the nest. Um, just for, you know, stopping those early game rush, rushing scenarios. Obviously, it wouldn't look like this. It'd be a, it'd be a lot more integrated. But, just just to put, as, like, a, a thing to that. Um, we're just going to spawn in a alien... Um, alien Scout. Just coming out of it in the early game. For example, oh no, there's a light quad rushing me. Oh no, so uh, my my base defense is now open and fire. And as you can see, it's not doing loads of damage, but it is kind of like warding off this uh, this quad. And the quad will eventually die. Obviously, these hive spires won't have their own health pool. So, they would all be integrated into the nest. So, the nest has an overall health pool itself. Um, but, as you can see there, it would still be enough to, uh, you know, to stop any, any like, forces just going for the push onto the queen at the very early game. So, uh, similar to what the HQ's got. I feel like the alien nest needs, needs to be defended. Um, so... In regards to that, guys, um, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please have a like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. I will see you guys tomorrow for more Silica Sundays. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to hit, you know, th th don't forget the sub. Um, Silica is coming along quite quickly now in 2024. We've had a, a massive amount of changes. Um, not only, oh, God, not only to... Um, to the introduction of air units to start things off. Um, there has been a lot of balancing changes. The addition of the Queen now. Uh, performance changes have been absolutely massive. Um, what I'll do those before I end the video. I am just going to quickly uh, load the bench benchmark. So you guys can see. What the. Uh, what my system is looking like handling it. Uh, basically we have got two cloned screens technically. One that you're seeing. And the one I'm playing on. So. Um, it won't be a true rep representation. My god, the English is just out the window. A true representation of my system's performance. However, you kind of get the gist of it. Um, but I will become silent now. Uh, if you guys want to watch it, um, go ahead. If you don't want to watch it, guys, don't worry. And I will see you soon. Anyway, guys, enjoy. And uh, peace. See you again.